care. It's time to set the record straight on what gender-affirming care is and what gender-affirming care is not. Gender-affirming care is age-appropriate care that is medically necessary for the well-being of many transgender and non-binary people who experience symptoms of gender dysphoria. Gender dysphoria is distress that results from having one's gender identity not match one's sex assigned at birth. Every major medical and mental health organization says that it is medically necessary to support people in affirming their gender identity. That's more than 1.3 million doctors in the United States, including the American Medical Association and the American Academy of Pediatrics. You should know that transition-related or gender-affirming care looks different for every transgender and non-binary person. Parents, their kids, and their doctors make decisions together and no medical interventions with permanent consequences happen until a person is old enough to give informed consent. So what can gender affirming care look like for young kids? For most youth, transition is entirely social. It might be a new name, a new hairstyle, new clothing. Therapists, parents, and healthcare providers work together to determine which changes to make at a given time that are in the best interest of the child. None of this care is irreversible. And for older youth and adults, gender transition is a personal process that can include changing clothes, names, and pronouns to fit a person's gender identity. Some people take medication and some do not. Some adults have surgeries and others do not. How someone transitions is entirely their choice to be made with their family and their doctor.